Uh, a classic Trump interview. College Republican President Alexandra Smith joins us now. Alexandra, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Stuart. Now, a lot of millennials, we are told, support Donald Trump. Do you think that his answers to those foreign policy questions will make any difference? Do you, you put some trust in that? Well, I think you need to keep a few things in mind. First of all, a lot of millennials aren't at this point tuned into the race. Um, and to the extent that they are, uh, terrorism and outside threats to the United States is not the, their top concern. It's undoubtedly the economy. I mean, this is a generation that's living in our parents' basement, unable to afford our student loans or credit card bills. So um, I think to the extent that they are tuned in, it's about a different... You. That being said, I think that, you know, what Mr. Trump offers is authenticity, and that's something that matters very much to millennials. Um, I think that overall, though, you know, uh, given what happened on the radio show yesterday, I think the important thing to keep in mind is that millennials care very little about how one particular host treats any particular candidate, and more about how that candidate's going to treat them and the kind of opportunities they're going to create for this generation. What about Trump's style? I would have thought that would appeal to millennials, and I'm referring specifically to the um, press conference that he gave yesterday. He answered, I think, 29 questions in 26 minutes. He answered all of them dead straight, right on, you, you, and you, I'll answer. And that was refreshing, to say the least, when it comes to politicians doing press conferences. Do millennials like that? Absolutely. I mean, authenticity is what matters the most to millennials, and also transparency as well. I mean, think about uh, how that contrasts with Hillary Clinton on the other side of the aisle, unable to take simple media questions and unable to answer basic questions about her handling of her, her personal email and the server um, that she had. So I think that there's a big contrast there, and I think that that's where uh, Donald Trump could absolutely score points with millennials. Uh, are things improving for you, for uh, Republicans on college campuses? I know that you've had a hard time for a couple of generations. I mean, I'm just just wondering if things are beginning to change. Do you get a little more warm reception on the campus these days? Well, you know, more millennials identify as independents more than any other political affiliation out there. So there's a huge myth out there that all young voters are liberal and therefore we shouldn't reach out to them. A, it's imperative that we do reach out to them because our demographic reality suggests that they will decide the next presidential election. And B, there's a huge opportunity to win them back. Uh, you know, your previous guest, Carly Fiorina, she was at a town hall in New Hampshire uh, recently, and she said that there is no better preparation for defending Republican and conservative principles than being a college Republican and standing on that campus. I mean, those are our warriors out there. They're on the front line. Uh, you know, I, I hope more candidates like Carly Fiorina and, and Donald Trump go to campuses and, and help them out. Yeah, really. Alexandra Smith, College Republicans.